Hello, I'm Beth Wagner, physical therapist. In this video, I'm going to show you nerve glides for ulnar nerve entrapment. Another name for this, or a specific type of ulnar nerve entrapment, is cubital tunnel syndrome. I'll start with a brief overview of the anatomy of the ulnar nerve and common symptoms and causes of entrapment. Then I'll move on to demonstrate specific nerve glide exercises to relieve entrapment of the ulnar nerve. The ulnar nerve originates from two nerve roots at the base of the cervical spine. It runs underneath the collarbone, down the arm, through the elbow, and down into the wrist and the pinky and ring fingers. The cubital tunnel at the inside of the elbow is the most common site of entrapment. Now when we bump the inside of our elbow and get that nervy feeling that we call the funny bone, that is the ulnar nerve that is being compressed when we impact the inside of the elbow. The term entrapment refers to pinching or compression of the nerve somewhere along its pathway, resulting in irritation and inflammation of the nerve. Now common symptoms of nerve entrapment include pain, numbness, tingling along the pathway of the nerve typically underneath the arm, through the elbow, along the inner part of the forearm, across the wrist, and down into the pinky and ring finger. There may also be weakness in the muscles of the wrist and the pinky and the ring finger. And in severe cases of nerve entrapment, there may also be limited range of motion, typically at the elbow. There may be many different causes of ulnar nerve entrapment. Some of the more common causes include fracture at the elbow, pressure on the inside of the elbow, leaning for a long period of time on the elbow, or even just sitting with the elbow bent for long periods of time. Among the different options of treatment for ulnar nerve entrapment, this video is specifically focused on nerve glides or nerve flossing exercises. These movements will help to gently floss or glide the nerve along its pathway in order to release the nerve at the point where it is pinched or compressed. Nerve tissue does not like to be stretched and pulling on both ends of the nerve at the same time does not help to release a pinched nerve. Instead, nerves respond well to gentle gliding or flossing, which is to move one end of the nerve at a time. This gentle glide will help to mobilize the nerve within its pathway without causing additional irritation or inflammation. These movements are performed gently with slow and smooth repetitions. There is no hold involved. While performing these movements, mild discomfort and numbness and tingling are common. These sensations should not be severe and they should dissipate within a few minutes of completing the exercises. If during the flossing movement, numbness and tingling become severe, then take a break, shake out the arm, and when you return to the exercise, try performing it a little bit slower or with a smaller range of motion. And these movements should not be outright painful. If pain occurs during the movement, stop the exercise and rest. Double check that you're performing the exercise correctly and you might need to move a little bit slower or not go quite as far into the range of motion. You might notice some decrease in symptoms as soon as you complete the first session, but lasting improvement typically requires consistent daily performance for about six to eight weeks. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the exercises. First, we'll do a quick posture correction and then I'll show you the nerve glides. We'll start these exercises sitting. So I'll demonstrate the posture correction, also sitting, starting at the base, at your pelvis. Sitting on a supportive surface, make sure that your pelvis is in neutral alignment. So you're not slouched back and you're not tipped too far forward. So with your pelvis right in the middle, move up to your lumbar spine, your low back, and make sure you have just your normal gentle curve there. Moving up the spine, Lift your chest and relax the shoulder blades down and back. And finally do a little bit of a chin tuck, springing your chin back so that your ears are aligned with your shoulders. And finally, imagine a string attached to the top of your head. Gently pull that string up toward the ceiling to elongate your spine, get as much space between each vertebra as possible. This is a great starting point, in fact, a very important starting point for the rest of these movements. We'll start the first nerve glide with movement at the wrist. 
lift your arm up out to the side at whatever height you feel most comfortable. Make sure that you keep your shoulder down and back. Make sure you don't let your shoulder elevate into your ear. Keep it down and back. Okay, now with your arm out to the side, palm facing down, simply lift your fingers up toward the ceiling so your palm is facing out toward the wall and then release your hand. And repeat with slow, smooth motion. Lift your fingers up, pause, and lower. Lift up, pause, and lower. Continue 10 repetitions, pausing at the top of the motion and pausing when you relaxed your hand. You also might find it helpful to pattern your breathing with the movement. Inhale to prepare for the movement, and then as you exhale, lift your fingers up toward the ceiling, pause, and then inhale lower. Exhale, lift up toward the ceiling, and inhale lower. If that feels like you're breathing too fast, you could also try doing one repetition per breath. So inhale to start and exhale. Lift the fingers up and lower. Now inhale, lift up and lower. Next, exhale, lift up and lower. The purpose of patterning your breathing is number one, to make sure you're not holding your breath. Secondly, breath is a powerful tool for decreasing pain and improving movement, blood flow, circulation, et cetera, throughout the entire body. The next nerve glide will be a floss at the elbow. Start with your arm relaxed by your side. As you lift your arm, lift your fingers up toward the ceiling, and then your palm goes up toward the ceiling and bring your fingers and palm in next to your face. If you have the range of motion, you can bring your palm all the way to your cheek or even down into your neck. Pause for about a second and then lower your hand back down. Lift your arm with your palm facing forward, fingers toward the ceiling, keeping your shoulder relaxed. Don't let your shoulder come up into your ear. Make sure to keep it down and relaxed. All right, keep moving your hand up and bring your fingers and your palm in toward the side of your face. If you have enough range of motion, continue moving your palm closer to your cheek and even toward your neck or toward your shoulder. Only go as far as you feel comfortable moving. And then lower your hand back to the starting position. Lift your arm up, palm goes toward the ceiling and then comes in toward your cheek and toward your neck. Pause and slowly lower and continue with slow and smooth motion. Lifting up, bringing the hand toward your cheek, pause and lower. Continue 10 repetitions or as many as you feel comfortable doing to start with. Gradually add more repetitions as you practice these exercises day by day. For the last nerve glide, we'll add movement at the cervical spine or head and neck movement. Start with the arm out front, your shoulder relaxed, down and back. Start with your palm facing down. Now, tilt your head away from the side that you're working on. Tilt your head to the side, bringing your ear toward the opposite shoulder. Be sure not to lift your shoulder up toward your ear. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Pause here just for about a second, and as you lift your head back up to the center, you'll bring your fingers up toward the ceiling palm facing forward. Pause here for about a second, and then as you lower the hand, tilt your head over to the side. And lift your head and lift your fingers pointed toward the ceiling. Pause. Continue moving, at the, continue moving your hand and your head at the same time. Tilt your head as you lower your hand. Pause. Lift your head as you lift your fingers up toward the ceiling. Tilt your head, lower the hand, lift your head, and point your fingers toward the ceiling. Continue 10 repetitions, or as many as you feel comfortable starting with. For best results, perform these exercises one to three times a day, depending on how you're feeling with them and how your body responds to the movements. 
I hope you find these nerve glides or nerve flossing exercises to be helpful to relieve your symptoms. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.